Paddington's face is he's definitely looking at his auntie. There you go, he's got a webcam there. <laughs> I don't think Paddington uses technology too much. That's quite an interesting one, Aster. That's quite nice. He normally just writes to her. Right, let's start adding some pen. Let's go with Paddington first, of course. And I do love drawing his little fingers. So he's only got three little fingers and a little thumb. And then he's got his coat. He's got like a little sleeve thing here. And then he's got his collar, which will just poke out. And of course, the most important thing is his little nose. There's his nose. He's very happy to be speaking to his auntie. He's got like little, little fluffy bits that come out the side. And then his hat, as I mentioned, I often draw it as an S shape. And if it came out there, I'd keep drawing like that. And the top of his hat. And there we go. His Paddington neatened up. Well, half of him. <laughs> So let's get this marmalade jar neatened. So this is this is Lucy's idea. This was Lucy's marmalade jar for Paddington's birthday. Great idea, Lucy. Oh no, I think my pen might run out. Let's see if I'll find another one. This one's a bit thinner. No, this one's a bit thinner, but I think it'll do just fine. I don't think that one's much better. <laughs> I'll see if I can keep going with this one. Sorry guys. There's so many pens. If I go a bit slower, I think that'll be easier. There's his little fingers coming out the other side. He holds onto it. He's got a nice big label on it. it says to Paddington. I don't know about you guys, but I find the theme tune has really helped me learn how to spell Paddington. P A double D I N G T O N Paddington Bear. There we go. Sorry for my singing. <laughs> Very nice. Do his little feet. I love doing his little paws. His little toes. In case what goes behind the jar. He's sort of got it half on his lap as he shows it to Aunt Lucy. Yeah, we should draw some marmalade in it, shouldn't we? Yeah. I'll do a bit more with that when we come to colour it. Right, and then we'll do some of the party table. That was Alejandra's idea. Give it a nice, pretty edge. I think when I come to colour in, I think I'm going to make this tablecloth a very nice pink, because I always think Pink is a great colour for parties. Okay, this is at the foot, just poking out there. Brilliant, so we've done some of the table. Right, let's get Alistair's video call in. There's our webcam. going to switch to my thinner pen because Aunt Lucy is very small on the screen. Bless her. There we go. I bet it's very nice for her. She normally gets letters off him. I think Aunt Lucy normally wears a hat as well, doesn't she? I'll draw her in a hat. See, she's waving at him. She's got a dress on normally. There we go. We don't normally see Aunt Lucy though, do we? And she's waving. She's very happy to see him. She's got a flowery dress. 
There we go. And then the cool buttons. Brilliant. So he's going, look Aunt Lucy, look what I've got for my birthday. Marmalade. And lots of it. Right. Add these cakes in. it was going to do this one with sprinkles I'm not going to draw them in yet I'm going to add them when we colour so we'll leave that like this for now I'll do another sprinkle one actually oh, I love sprinkles on cakes I'm going to do those last ones all sprinkles I know if I was at this party that's what I would head straight to sprinkles right and uh, our gnomes Let's do our gnomes. So who's holding a balloon? Bit of hair coming out from under his hat, his pointy hat. It's like a little log he stood on. Little logs. Because they're very short, the gnomes. I know when Mr. Curry has his parties with them, he has to sit very low down. <laughs> he must hurt his knees. I bet it's one of the things that makes him a bit grumpy. They're all really happy. Do you think when Paddington turns away, some of the cakes might go missing? See if the gnomes come to life when no one's looking. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? I wonder what Mr. Curry would have to say. I think Mr. Curry is probably one of my favourite characters. After Paddington, of course. <laughs> there we go, give him a little pointy hat. And there we have our gnomes at our party table. So yeah, that was Ala. Alejandro's idea, that one. Brilliant idea. Right, now let's neaten the piñata, which was Harry's idea. So that's a little bow, so that's what he's tied up. So he's tied it tight. Because they're going to they're gonna bash it with sticks later. And I'll do the lid like that. And make sure it's got its label on. And then we can do it all little strips of brightly coloured paper. Well, they will be bright when we come to colour in. Put them go under the label. It's a brilliant idea, Harry. Makes me want to go and have a piñata. <laughs> what sort of sweets? Oh, you said this. Marmalade sweets, obviously. Of course they're There's his piñata, and now we'll do the bunting. So let's draw the string in first. Oh yeah, it's going to be like this. Oops, sorry. And I'll draw a bit of this tree in as well. It's got a big branch. I imagine this might be a part of the treehouse tree. Or maybe Paddington's gone to the park. That might be, be quite nice. We've gone and set up a little party in the park. With all the gnomes. I 
legs. Legs. Probably going to have to do a bit more with the colour. No, no, we've gone it wrong now. That's all right. I saw that when we neaten it. Brilliant. Oh, got this bit of a tree to come down. Bit of grass. There we go. Little bit of grass here and there. Right. I'm going to rub out a little bit of the pencil before we come to colour. So I'm very sorry, it might make the camera shake a bit. a bit cleaner isn't it? don't think I've missed anything. details we might have lost. There we go. logs for the gnomes. I think, I think we just about got everything. Right, now it's time to do some colouring in. <laughs> 